Chris is fanboying because of Ariel Hawaii. Yeah, I actually want to ask him a question. Do you know who Ryan Zapolo is the fanboy? Ryan Zapolo is the fanboy. Ryan Zapolo is the fanboy. Parkour! The VR was coming off. I have Corona. I'm down 1K. Stupid game. Giant dick. Parkour! Alright, so today's day two, whatever. Today are the awards. We're about to go eat breakfast, then go to New York, New York, and ride a roller coaster. This reminds me, just like home. I already did this whole video. If you can watch that video, the link is here, or whatever the fuck. Roller coaster. You bowled two perfect games? Mm -hmm. What years? Oh, 05, oh, 06. That was his prime. Yo, this is literally like rated one of the worst roller coasters in the country, and I'm about to do it. VR. I'm hyped. Later. Yo, I'm like dizzy, but that was fun. It was weird being in VR. We beat the giant mech monster is the good news. The bad news is my neck hurts. The VR was coming off. I have Corona, but I had fun. Yo, is that bad luck or is flat cats is bad? Yeah, They're good. Because it says it starts at five. Okay. Well, who's shuffling? They told us to be there at four. Yeah. But so we just ate at Shake Shack. I'm feeling fat. It's yeah. about 1.30. We got to be there at four. It's time to start getting anxious in a little bit. Do you think you're the favorite? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, you you're think so? Minus 125. Slight favorite. Well, wait, is it two other candidates? He's very Three other. You should win. I honestly think I will, but I think there's a chance I won't. I could get upset. So I just heard that uh, I had to edit up Poker After Dark by what? By 15 minutes? Phil Helmuth was trying yeah. to sell insurance yeah. for 15 minutes. Yeah. Like, did you know if you're uninsured, you can get in a lot yeah. of trouble? A few moments later. 1%. This extra 1% is making me do horrible bankroll management because it's 9, 6, double, double if you do $25 of spin versus the other kind. I played it a little. Oh god, this button's broken. I can't play this machine. I like how I keep playing it even though the button's broken, dude. Draw on here. But I think that may be good luck, actually. Come on, this fucking thing. I'm due. Come on, I'm due. Oh my god. <laughs> They're fucking me, dude. You did the $100 spin and uh... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on! Bro. Bro. Alright, Chase. 8-8. Eight, eight. Eight. Woo! Big time. King. Three more spins. I'll take it. 10-10. Ten, ten. Fuck this game. Oh my god, come on. Bro. Bro. <laughs> How did I just lose 300? I'm down 1k in stupid games. You're down 1k? Yeah. Not right now, that was 300. We fired a fourth bullet here, and it's going a little bit better. Oh, look, see, guys? You guys fucking make fun of me for being degenerate. Meanwhile, I'm about to win it all back right, right now. 20 minutes later. Staying alive, bro. Ah! I don't know how I've run so bad in these giant house edge games. Who would have ever thought I'd have such bad luck? All right, so we're at the pool. I don't think I've ever been to a pool in forever. Ryan is gonna see the sun for the first time on the trip. It's blinding me. It hurts. This place is so nice. It's like the parts of casinos that Katie experiences. It's like I literally never knew Borgata had both casino and spa in the title. Cause I never go any anywhere, you know? I only have flip flops, I don't even have shoes. There's lots. You get them, motherfucker. All right, so we just tried to go to the gym, but I can't with flip-flops. Sorry, Katie, so that's why I'm gonna stay. Keep developing this poker player's body. Oh, there he is. It's too beautiful of a parkour court. All right, so we have time before the awards. I'm low-key nervous, but I, not nervous. I don't even know. I, I think I'm gonna win. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Damn, dude, Tom was like, let's go shop in this mall. Maybe too expensive for us. It looks like that was an understatement, dog. Understatement. Stefano Ricci. What is Philip Klein? I don't know. I don't think I've bought anything from any of these stores ever. No. I'm like expecting to be like, oh, Foot Locker. Not gonna happen. Dude, that literally is a troll. This artist made a giant cock. That is a nutsack and a dick. <laughs> How is that not? Man, that's gotta be demoralizing, working below a nutsack every single day. Yeah, it's not yeah. even like subtle, dude. It's just a giant dick. It's even more awesome. Yeah, dude, seriously. Seriously. Nice cock, are you? Alright, so we bet 190, risking 190 on the Winnipeg Jets who are playing the Vegas Knights. Tom did two stupid parlays or did 200, whatever. He did enough that they gave him a drink ticket, like a sucker, because they know who the mark is here. Oh, yeah, yeah, big sucker. I did analytics. You went against the Biggest book. Big sucker. Somebody lost uh, $1,000 on video poker. <laughs> 1100 Ready to go win. 
right? Ready to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We yeah, out, we out, we out. Raise to seven. Shut up. Bro, I can't think of anything but if this award right now. Focus. Oh, Lord. Oh, I think I'm overheating. Ooh, private event. Oh, well. Look at Tom, I take care of Tom. I put him on the big time. Pow wow, the people, there's Joey. Hi. Up next is the People's Choice Award for Poker Personality of the Year. This award is presented to the poker personality judged to have been one of the game's best ambassadors in 2019. This is the first of two special awards voted on by the poker fans. And the nominees for Poker Personality of the Year are... People's Choice Poker Personality Joey Ingram Jonathan Little Ryan DePaolo Lex Veldhaus And the winner is Jonathan Little. Next year. Next year. Fuck this. Let's go. Ten seconds later. Dude, do I look filmable? You look very filmable. I gotta get you a camera, man. Well, th this is because no, I'm so used to, I'm no, used, it's not even well, I'm used to gorilla, really? like, yeah, I'm yeah, used yeah, to, yeah. like, getting banned from places, yeah. but so, like... No, you're not going to get banned today. It's cool being nominated next to you, honestly. This is, a, this is too genuine for film, but, like, I looked up to you and studied you for so long. It's, like, cool being nominated with... I'm going to stop filming and be genuine off vlog real quick for a minute, guys. No, All right. you can't be genuine in your video vlogs. It's not allowed. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Oh, Damn it, buddy. Sorry you didn't win. I thought you were going to win, though. Yeah, me too. This is the awards. We're going out. So I'm pretty disappointed that we didn't win, but I had fun. Now I'm going to meet Ali, Chris, Tom, all these guys at, at dinner here at Bardo. So we'll chill out, maybe play this rinky dink tournament later. What can you do? Later. All right. So we just went to dinner. Ali bought us dinner. Thank you, Ali. I'm going to try to play this nightly 140 just because I feel like it. I think I can max late reg still. I think we got time. We won our Winnipeg Jets bet for 200. Let's go. Let's go make this tournament. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, fuck. Whatever, we're here. Fighting the shit. In a suit after the awards. Ready to go. We stole Chris's brick. We got to meet him up to give it back. Having fun. No need for chip cock yet. No need for yells. It's very early. Man, I'm not even gonna do hand recaps, really. We've made every decision perfectly. We got 26K. You start with fucking 20K. Like 30 people left. We're running to the room to get headphones and a cord. That's it. We lost our portable charger. Fuck the world. So what happened was, if I didn't say it before, was that we ran straight from the awards to dinner that Ali paid for, thank you, Ali, to this rinky-dink where we max late reds. We were trying to get Chris and Ali and everyone to play this like rinky-dink daily with us, but no one wanted to play, so I don't know what they're doing. We also were trying to get Tom maybe to hustle some bowling money, get him some fucking action bowling. We may still work on that. But anyway, we're trying to win this little rinky dink, you know what I'm saying? 30 people left, seven get paid, fuck it, whatever. We missed the first hand. I don't know how we always miss time or clock on our phone, but we missed our button and then we're a little cranky for no reason and then doubled up first hand, so. All right, so we're at a new table. It's much more fun than, than the last. Clock, same shit. All right, so we've won. 168, 15 people left, whatever. Seven get paid, six minute break. GTO, Tom's at Ali's house watching TV, which is cool. Later that same evening. So yeah, so whatever. If I wasn't crushing this, I would quit poker. Got lucky we jammed on the button with ace eight of diamonds. Big blind had ace king off for just a little bit of chips, but we rivered a straight. We really want first though for 2,400. There's only 1.2 million chips in play and we got 168K, so that's good. Nice hand, nice hand. Yeah, yeah, sure. Final table, nine left, seven get paid, whatever. Thank you. 
three, five, and five. Thank you. Someone said, I want to pay the bubble. I said, no. And then the next hand, the bubble pop. So there you go. We're in the money. All right, four people left. Just said ace king against ace queen. Got a bunch of chips. Final four. Three left. 906 Locky. Thank you. Just take your ID right to the cage. All right, thanks. All right, so I finished third for 906 on $140 buy-in, whatever. And I was like, if you guys get me to 1800 I'll chop. And they were like, nah. And I was like, fuck it, let's keep playing. And then just lost a big flip, sixes against ace queen of spades for mad big blinds. It's fucking, they're almost 30. I, I, but the guy was bad, whatever. I shouldn't maybe flip there, but I would have for sure won the tournament if I won that flip, so whatever. All right, so... I should go to bed, but now today we had a comeback with the Winnipeg Jets winning us 200. A tournament profited us 760. We're only down 134 on this trip, and that's pretty nice. So let's uh, we can afford the dock off a little here. You know what I'm saying? Playing some deucey wild before bedtime. Then we're gonna get four deuces, bro, or a straight mush. A nice little straight mush. Dude, it's like I play regular poker to fuel my video poker addiction. I just lost another 300 in video poker, so... Whatever, whatever. Fuck, try to angle me. I shouldn't just be blasting 300, almost half of all that I profited just now. But we're only down 450 on the trip total. If you, thanks for watching. So we didn't win the award. We did win a little bit of tournament. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please share. Shout out to Jonathan Little, the Global Poker Awards. Daniel LeBron who couldn't be there. Fucking Joe Ingram. All the people I met. Hey, yo, well, yo, thank you very much, man. It was fucking great to be there, and I hope to be back. Next year, we're gonna win mad fucking awards, so I ain't even fucking sweating it. You feel me? Like, subscribe, do all that fucking shit. Man, it really helps me. 30. Yo, this elevator just felt like it was about to fucking kill me. So we're sitting here reflecting on the puns. Parkour! Yeah, 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 yeah. Parkour! Fuck off, man. Ryan DePaul, Degenerate Gambler on YouTube. Bullet 2, let's go. No, no, we're just filling. See, look, he's just blasting off crack in the streets. I love this place. I hit the booty bounce on the dance floor. Now, he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.